Hi guys, my name's Ellie, welcome to my channel. I've been playing with swatching products on my face. Uh, most of it's off, but we'll see what happens. Uh, today, I want to start something. And I've been putting off doing an update for my Project Usip just because I don't want to. So we're killing it. We're scrapping that and we're starting um, Project 50 Pan. I have a lot of stuff in a pile right over there. It's already too dark for me to do it in my normal filming, so I'm going to kind of do a glance over. We will kind of look at the products. I don't know my goals for all of them, but I'm just itching to start. I've been thinking a lot about what I want to use, about some things that I just want to get out of my collection. So, I'm going to pull a bunch of them over. It's, it's going to be a long video because I have a lot of stuff and I don't know which ones are going to make it through the year and which ones are just going to get decluttered along the way. So we're starting with a lot of items. I'm going to show you where I am and we will figure out what we want to do with each of them as we go. Because I have a lot of makeup. And some of it I'm just not using and some of it I've outgrown and some of it is like a good product but now I have a dupe of it. So we'll just we'll see what happens. So batch one. This is my makeup station, by the way. It's a mess. Um, batch 1 creams. So this is a sample of the MAC Strobe Cream. And it's not going to tell me... Think Light. Because I can't read. Think Light. Um, I want to use this up as a primer. I've used stuff like this in the past. I like it. I have two Maybelline Color Tattoos. This one still has some creaminess, surprisingly. Um, this is, I think it's leather. Yeah, I think this one's called leather. And then this one is inked in pink. That's what it looks like. I want to use, I should focus on the center. I want to use these as shadow bases. Get in there. I have this Giorgio Armani Iron Brow Maestro in platinum. Um, I've added this in things before, but I just really need to clear it up and finish it up. They're still creamy, they're still working, I just need to get working on them before it goes bad. Do, do, do. This one's kind of a cream, kind of not. So this is an infallible shadow from L'Oreal. Uh, and this one is in Endless Sea. I've used this a couple times. Um, actually, I could just move this around. So yeah, it's really, really pretty. I just need to make the effort to use it. And since it is one of these kind of pressed down creamy, powdery things. I'm putting it in with the creams. We'll see what happens. Do do. Then I have two. I've worn these maybe two times. These are Butter London Glaze and Eye Glosses. Do do do. This one. Oh, it would help if I had the names. I don't have the names. What are you called? Oh, it's on the side. So this one is in Unicorn. It's really, really pretty. And then we have this one, which is in Mermaid. They're quite pretty. I just need to, if I'm going to have cream products, I need to actively be panning them. Then I have two items from ColourPop. This is a Super Shock Cheek in Honeymoon. This is really, really pretty. I like it. Then I have this. It's kind of a blush, kind of not. It's got some shift to it. I'm going to be using this either as a blush or as like a blush topper highlight. This is Fun with Friends from the Hello Kitty collection. And I believe that concludes the single cream products. Chunk number one. Section two are individuals and or loose powder products. So, Big thing I want to do, this is Makeup Geek Insomnia. It is a loose pigment. It's really, really pretty, but I just, I need to go through this. I have dupes. I have similar shadows. I just need it done. This is a Bare Minerals loose shadow. This is like this satin reflecty, just beige. I want to use this up. I can use it. I just need to. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do, yeah, let's do Urban Decay real quick. So, I have this. This is Tonic. It's very, very pretty, but again, it's getting older, and I have a duplicate shade. Um, not of this exact 
you know, not from Urban Decay, but I have shades like this that I've acquired since then. So, next. This is quite old. This is Snatch. Snatched? Snatch. Also from Urban Decay. Very, very pretty. This is one of, like, the first Urban Decay shadows I ever had. I need to use it up. Or decide if it's still like it. I swatched it. It was quite nice. If you want a horribly long swatch video, we could technically do all of these. That sounds exhausting. This is Midnight Cowboy. Yes? Nope, Space Cowboy. It is a moon dust shadow. It is a very, very reflective champagne gold made out of glitter. I think this will go well with my cream products and just as a way to have some fun but also pan something. Then... I have all of these. These are from Benefit. I bought a section of minis, I used one, and then I didn't touch any of them. So these are all fresh. This is a mini of Rockateur. We'll see if I like it. This is a mini of Hula Light, which is surprisingly light, like more light than I was expecting. A mini of Hula. A mini of Dandelion. And the only one I've tried to use, this is Gold Rush, and I hated it. So I'm going to see if I can either pick it up with a different brush, or maybe we'll just... This will also kind of be a declutter-as-we-go project. And then I have some singles. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is just a sample. It's quite thin. I've never really used it as a bronzer, but I wanted. I want to. This is from Elizabeth Mott. This is a itty bitty little single. It's quite nice. I think I can get some good usage on it. And then this is a single from NYX. It's just a taupey brown shade that I need to use up. And I pulled the sticker off. Oh. Nude matte shadow in Nobody Knows the Color. Um, I'm sure I'm going to add some more things in this section of individual single powder products as we go, but I just don't have them picked out yet. And now we come to the who does she think she's kidding section. These are eyeshadow palettes. All of them, because I'm confident. So this is the Sugar Pill Feline Fancy shadow palette. These are huge pans. I would like to... Um, just start getting some progress on it. These are all really nice shades. They're also shades I can use a lot of. If nothing else, Text Me is a nice uh, bronzer and or crease shade. Um, yeah. We gonna work on that. This is the Urban Decay Spectrum Palette. It's upside down. Hold on. These, again, are shades I can use a lot of, um, blues and greens, I can tie into a lot of looks, you know, beige champagnes. These are things I would like to use with the cream shadows. Um, some of them, like Daybreak, are kind of chunky, but they don't have much usage going. Because, yes, let's pan multiple palettes and formulas we haven't played with. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills self-made palette. Um, I did a one month of palette with this, and there's just some shades in here I would like to clear out. I think I can get some good usage on some of them. I've got some dips, um, and this formula should be helpful. I'm not caring about Spirit Rock or really Hot Chocolate. If I have time, we can play with them, but other than that, I just want to get a lot of these going. Just going, going, going. This is from the balm. This is in the balm of your hand. We are going to focus on this section with the blushes and the really standard shades. So yeah, stuff like the Mary Luminizer I can use as a highlight, I can use Bahama Mama as a bronzer and or a crease shade. These blushes are very nice, I just need to use them. And then these shades, like, it's nice to have um, a burgundy. Uh, I do like both of the Shady Lady shades, but I just, I need to use them before they go bad. And who doesn't love a nice olive green? Kaboom! This is the Dose of Color Ice Cream Palette. I really don't know if this one's staying in the project long term or not. Um, I recently did a one palette look with this, and I was just really unimpressed with Lavender Honey. 
which was one of the main reasons I was keeping it. And I have since gotten plenty of mints, so I don't need mint chip, which is the other one that was really a draw for the palette. So I would like to get around to panning berries and cream, probably, maybe blueberry swirl and cone, see what happens. Um, sherbet was all right. I'm not likely to use bubblegum. Banana split, maybe. But I, just, I, need to, I need to play with some palettes and decide if I'm keeping them or leaving my collection. And let's see what we can do. Stack number two. This is the Lorac California Dreamer palette, probably. Let's check. It doesn't say. <laughs> um, but yeah. This is what it looks like. It's got some texture in some of the pans. Um, I give not a single fuck about Boots or Seaside or Kitty Cat. I'm mainly looking at, like, the satins and mattes in here. None of the chunky ones. Like, Boots is just chunky black glitter, and it's horrible. Seaside, chunky, chunky, chunky glitter doesn't work. Kitty Cat, also very chunky glitter doesn't work. But these mattes are quite nice, and I think they will be a nice addition to our attempts. And we got a nice little cream shade. This is another one that I just don't know what I'm going to do with it. This is, if I can get it open, maybe. Got it open. This is the Pantone Universe watercolor palette something. I've used this like once. And it looks kind of ridiculous. I'm sure a lot of these are just not that pigmented. Um, but there's some shades... Like those two, maybe over here. Things I think I could tie into the looks, and these sh these pans are, like, super tiny and probably pretty shallow. Because it, it was not intended to hold a lot of product. But let's see what does and doesn't work in this palette. Da, da, da. This is the Tarte Tartlet. This is one I really do kind of want to hit pan on, if not use up. Um, I feel like these beigey light shades I can definitely get through. Um, I've got a nice dip in natural beauty that you can't see because forever. And just in general, I think these are nice shades I can use with a lot of things. I've heard Tarte is a fucking beast to try and pan, so I might not get very far, but I think this is a nice daily palette to pair with things. And I want to get some usage on it. Try and, if you're not figuring it out, I'm trying to go through some older palettes. This is another one. I don't know how far I'm going to get. This is the Makeup Forever... What are you? Two. Palette two. So again, um, I'm not sure which ones I'm really going to get a ton of usage on, but these nice light shades up top are quite good. They're all nice shadows. Uh, there's a little hard pan on the pink and the purple, because I played with these before I knew what to do with shadows. But like, that shade's really nice. That shade's really nice. That's a good outer corner shade. Let's see what we can do. But this is like a really old palette. And now, an extra, who does she think she's kidding? The Alice through the Looking Glass palette. I went crazy for this palette when it first came out. I considered buying a backup, because I'm that crazy. This is what it looks like. They're really nice shades. They're not nearly as, like, Hatter and Heads Will Roll are a little out there, but in general, I guess Metamorphosis is a little out there. These just aren't as out there as I thought they were. They're very pretty. I want to do stuff like Use Up Dormouse, Pen Paradox, maybe Chessboard, Salas and Grum, now that I've come around to more red tones, is really nice. Um, Kingdom and Chronosphere is going to be really nice for like the days I'm lazy and don't want to do anything because they make lovely all over the lid looks. Uh, Mirror is really nice. I just need to use it more. Duchess is very pretty. These are things I think will also go quite well with my cream shadows. Okay. And wait, there's more. So, um, I've kind of got some feelings. These two. These two are not part of the feelings. These are the feelings. I'm kind of feeling done with Makeup Geek. Uh, just, I don't know. I haven't been excited about them in a long time. Wait, maybe this is part of it. This is. This isn't. 
sorry, these two are MAC shadows. The I just have these in here because these are things I got um, back when I was trying a lot, out a lot more MAC, and I've used them maybe once or twice. I just need to get something going on them. I think this is Sushi Flower. That could be a nice all-over lid shade. I swear it's more, it's deeper in person. It's closer to that. And then this is Tilt. Are you? I think you're, yeah, I think this is MAC as well. Again, a nice, pretty shade that we can do on the lid. So, those are just because they're old and I don't really use them. These are for other reasons. Some of these are shades I really liked. Some of these are shades that I've bought and not had a chance to play around with. Some of them I was just unimpressed with. But overall, I just don't think I want to do anything with Makeup Geek anymore. So we're getting rid of them. We're panning them. Because um, I spent money on them, and I might as well use them. Some of these, you know, are very useful. Some of these are not. I just, I don't really like how Marlena handled responding to the beauty community in her My Truth videos, and I don't know. It's just left a sour taste in my mouth, and if I'm not confident supporting a company, I'm just not going to, so I don't really want to buy any more Makeup Geek. These are the Makeup Geek shadows I still have that I haven't panned. Um, so we're going to paint them. And then we'll just have a different place to get singles. So, let's go through. This one is Phantom. This is actually a really cool inner corner highlight. It was my introduction to duochromes. Quite cool. This is High Tea. Um, I bought it entirely because of the name. I panned a decent amount of it last year. But I thought I might as well finish it up. This, I have never actually worn. This is Shark Bait. I really wanted to get into this color. And I've since got into this color in different shadows, just not that one. This, shoop shoop, is a nice all over lid shade. It is in the spotlight. Why is my camera being weird? This one, I might end up throwing out. I don't really care for this a ton. This is Twilight. It's more satin than it is metallic, and even then, I was kind of figuring out that I... What is happening with my camera? I don't... I'm not the biggest fan of satins. This is Beaches and Cream. And I did not realize until receiving it how very fucking light this was. So this might be like a set my lid shade. It's, it's real light. This one I do set my lid with. This is Sorbet, just a really, really pinky light shade. This one is Bedrock. I've used this a couple times before I really realized how much I loved gray, so we'll use some more. This is Barcelona Beach. Um, I panned a lot of this last year. This should be something I can get rid of. And then this one, oh, this one, Early Bird. This was my introduction to warm tones. I saw it, I wanted it, I needed it, I bought it. And this was back when I was like really excited about um, Makeup Geek releases. And I just was so ready. Like she was doing the videos on um, YouTube going over the shades and like swatching them and talking about her process. Back when she honestly felt a lot more invested in her own makeup. And yeah. I love that shade. I still do love it a lot. I just need to use it up. So, I have this right next to my makeup station. It's full of other stuff. So we have, I've allotted this drawer for all of my little single ones. Choop choop. So, those are things I'm going to try and pan. And we'll scroll on up. These are the palettes. And those are the single loose shadows. Not, like loose powder but like not in a compact and I think my camera's freaking out but so I'll have these here next to my makeup station and then I'll be tempted to use them more and we'll see what happens so yeah I just really want to get started on the next project I have plans I have things I want to do and now I filmed it so I can start touching them because I, I had a weird thing where I felt like I couldn't get too far into them without 
starting the progress. So I have labeled it, I've got them separated, and um, yeah, some of these will probably just be um, project pan porn type things of hitting pans. Some of these will be, I want to use it up all the way. Some of them are going to get decluttered along the way. We will find out together. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sure that's at least 50 pans. I'm going to be keeping a counter in the doobly-doo in the description about um, if I finish something and move it out, I'll make, I'll keep a tally in there of what we did and didn't use up. Um, just so I know if things get decluttered, I know how many, if I have already finished like, you know, 30 things, I'm not still trying to keep 50 going at the same time. I had also intended to pan my Aurora Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I can't find it. And I only have so many places to keep my makeup, so I'm wondering if maybe that got left somewhere on a trip, which would make me sad. Or I lent it to somebody. I don't know. I just know it's not anywhere I can find it. So it's like I don't have it anymore. Which means, once I pan some more highlights, I can get one again. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.